We have learned about different binding types like property binding, attribute binding, style and class binding, but in all cases the data was flowing in one direction and it was from the component to the view. With event binding, it is possible to pass data from the view to the component. To do that, you need to define and use template variables. So let's go to the project. In here, I'm going to change the button from set time now to set text color, and then change the button here to set color, and then just be for the button. I'm going to define an input tag. The input in here is going to have a placeholder, so type your color. And then in here inside the input tag, we are going to use the hash symbol to declare a template variable. So I'm going to name this variable the color variable. And then in here on the button, whenever you click and you want to trigger this event, so the set text color, you are going to pass a value, and the value is going to come from the input color. So in here, I'll just type color. I want to get the color element and I want to get the value. Now let us go and create this function. So I'll just copy the value. We can close the CSS tag. And then in here, I'm going to change the set time to now to set text color. Now this is going to have an input parameter that is going to be the color and it is a string. And then in here, I'll just console dot log and then the color now if you want we can store the color value to a variable so color this is going to be an empty string and then in here we're going to set this dot color is equal to the color that comes as the method parameter to distinguish them from each other, we can just add the underscore in here. So console.log the underscore color, and this that color is equal to the underscore color. Now let us go back to the HTML template. In here, I'll just type this is just a sample text. Save the changes. Let us go to the browser. And now in here, I'll just clear the console and type in here, let's say red, and then set color. You'll see that we have the red value, which is passed as a value using the template reference variable. Let us go and modify our code so we can set the value or the color of this text to be the value that we provide in here. For that, I'll just go back to our project. And then in here, I'm going to set the style dot color to be the color value so basically this value I'm going to save the changes and go back to the browser so let us type in here red and then click the set color you will see that the red value is being passed to the component but the text color is not being updated so let's go back to the code the reason for that is because we are setting the color in here. So the Angular is getting confused because of the color name up here and then the color value down here. So let us just go to the app component.ts and change that value. So in here, let us change the color to be P color. And then we are going to set the value in here. This dot P color is equal to underscore color. And then come to the app component.html and change the style.color to be the p color. So let us save the changes and go back to the browser. In here we do see that we have the text. So let us type in here red and then set color. You can see that the text color is updated to red. Let us change this to blue. Set color. You can see that the text color was updated successfully.